Hello, this is Mr. Collier, and today we're going to be using the quadratic formula and the discriminant. Okay, to solve a to solve a quadratic equation using the quadratic formula, let me, let me write it down first. X equals negative b plus or minus root b squared minus 4ac over 2a is the quadratic formula. Uh, okay, so we're going to do that for this one. And the a, b, and c are just the coefficients. Okay, so the coefficient here is just a 1 for the a value. So b is negative 3, so you're going to have negative negative 3, so you're going to have 3 plus or minus negative 3 squared uh, minus 4 ac over 2 times a, which is just 1, and then we can just simplify. 3 plus or minus root 9 plus 32 over 2, and that is 41 over 2. So sometimes we can simplify the third. In this case, we can't. Now, to use the quadratic formula, we need 0 on one side, so that's what you need to do first sometimes. Okay. So if we use the quadratic formula, you got x equals negative b. b is 12, so b, so 12 plus or minus root negative 12 squared minus 4 times 4 times 9 over 2 times the a value. 12 plus or minus root 144 minus, now this is going to be like 16 times 9 is 144, okay. So actually that gives you 0, so plus or minus 0 just gives you 0, and we're going to have 12 over 8, which is 3 over 2. Okay. Um, so we got, you see here we have two answers, and here we have one answer. Okay, sometimes we get no answers. If the square root is a negative number, we get no answers because you can't square root a negative. So that's where discriminant comes in. It's all about the, the thing under the square root sign. This is called the discriminant because it tells you how many solutions it has, and we have the symbol for discriminant as well. So if the discriminant is less than zero, then you're square rooting a negative number. So there's no solution, or no real solution. If it equals zero, we get one answer, one solution, just like we did in uh, that example. And if it's greater than zero, we get two solutions, because you have a positive negative square root, so you get two answers, okay? Uh, so you can just use a discriminant, b squared minus 4ac, to determine how many roots something has. So for example, here, without solving it, we can do 5 squared minus 4 times 4 times 2, you get 25 minus uh, 25 minus uh, 32. So it's definitely negative. Okay, it's negative 7. So it's less than 0, therefore no solutions or no roots. Roots is another word for a solution. And then we have problems like this where tells us to find out what values of k will give you exactly one root. Okay, that means the discriminant has to be equal to zero. So we can just do b squared minus 4ac equals zero, and then plug in those values. So we have negative 12 squared minus 4 times a times c is 3k. That's the constant. Let me just solve that for k. Uh, so to do this, I'm going to do negative 4 times 3k squared minus 12k. All right. Um, before I multiply this out by 4, I'm going to simplify it a bit by dividing everything by 4. That'll make it actually easier. So if I divide 144 by 4, you get 36. So we'll get this. So 36 minus 3k squared plus 12k equals 0. Um, I can divide by 3 and get 12 minus k squared plus 4k equals 0. And I'm going to multiply by negative. I want this to be positive, so I'm going to multiply by positive 1 and bring this out here. Okay, so two numbers that multiply to give you... 12, I had to give you negative 4, I'm going to be negative 6 and 2. 
So our answer is our k equals 6 or k equals negative 2.